Welcome to the introduction to EndNote presentation. In this part, we'll learn what is a traveling library and how to create one. What is the purpose of a traveling library? Well, first, you can transfer your references directly from your colleagues' papers to use in your own EndNote library. And secondly, you can send your paper to your colleagues with the EndNote files that has only the relevant references of your manuscript. So how do we do this? In Word, under the EndNote tab, run the export traveling library command like so. Now that we're back in our Word document, let's try that. Let's go to the Export to EndNote button here, click on this, and then click Export Traveling Library. Immediately, a box shows where it asks you to export the library to either an existing EndNote library or a new EndNote library. What will be inside this new EndNote library are only the four articles of our sample manuscript that we have in our references. It will not contain all nine of the total references in our library. Now some people have thousands of articles in their local library, in their original library, and creating a traveling library just means that you only give your colleagues access to the PDFs and to the references that are only in the relevant article. They don't need to see 2,000 articles that you send in the EndNote library file to them. They can only see the four relevant articles that are cited in your manuscript. After you click this and OK, it will ask you to save it as Again, the two files, a data library and then the library icon to save and to send to your colleagues if you wish. Remember when you send it as an attachment to your colleagues, you must send both files, the data folder as well as the EndNote icon. Without either one, your colleague will not receive the EndNote library, traveling library that you created. Also important to note, if a colleague sends you a Word document with references from an EndNote library, be sure to export the traveling library associated with that paper. If you don't and you unformat your bibliography, you will be missing references when you reformat the bibliography. So for example, some journals require the format of your manuscript to not have the EndNote references. For example, this field over here, this data field, is actually not preferable for some journals when they format your whole manuscript after they've accepted and want to publish. They don't want the EndNote format here, so you have to unformat this. However, when you unformat it, you also lose the connection that it had to your EndNote library, your traveling library, for example. So you must keep your traveling library and your EndNote library with you so you can recreate the format if you ever needed to recreate the format.